What up everybody from Islamabad, Pakistan. It is Friday afternoon. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling great. These guys, wow. Assalamu alaikum. A lot of people packed in the back. Pakistani people in the comments. What do you call that? It's it's not quite a pickup truck. It's not quite a bus. What what is, what is that thing? I want to take a ride on one. Anyways, as I was saying, it's Friday here in Pakistan. Uh, the Friday prayers just finished up. And would you believe it? I'm hungry. I'm gonna go to a place that's supposedly one of the best bakeries in all of Islamabad. The owner of this uh, beautiful guest house that I'm staying at, Homie Islamabad, he said not only, do they, not only is it a true Pakistani bakery, but it's also one of the most hygienic of places to eat. And if you're deciding to uh, come to Pakistan, I would recommend that you uh, kind of take a careful, close eye at the places you're going to eat at, um, just to make things or make sure things are done uh, ha as hygienic as possible. Me, I really don't care about that. You know me, I'm chowing down on street food all day. It's whatever. Uh, but for those of you that want to take a, a little more safer, a little more cl clean route when it comes to chowing down, you're going to want to go to a place like this. So just call the in-driver. We're gonna head down the steps here and uh, wait for our friend to arrive. Oh, and, and there's my man, Zahid. Zahid, I appreciate all your help, my brother. Good guy, good guy. <laughs> oh, what's going on out here? There's some car washing taking place, I think. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Hello, hello. Little car washing uh, action, getting things nice and clean. Assalamu alaikum. We got some kids here carrying some stuff. How are you? Yes. That's who? Ah, Assalamu alaikum. Good, good. How are you? Fine. What's your name? Sajad. Mira Pan, Mira Nam Brent. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yes, Muhammad Sabir. Nice to meet you. I'm Brent. How's it going today? Good, good. You guys are just hanging out, chilling in the garden. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful day to be out. You're counting the shader. Oh, I, I thank you for offering. These guys are so kind, they're offering me to sit. Uh, I'm waiting for a taxi. I'm going to get food, otherwise I would sit with you, so I really, really appreciate that. Are, are, you, are you staying here at the guest house? Yeah. Ah. Uh, and do you live in Islamabad or do you live elsewhere? This one very, very nice. Doing booking .com. What's okay. that? Uh, yes, and this is, this is the owner right here. Yeah. Could you tell everybody watching your name? Uh, Yusuf. Yusuf, so nice to, so nice to uh, meet you again, Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf's been taking care of me again. We're at Homey Islamabad. This place is an absolute palace. It's been open for about six months now. In an earlier video, I took you on a tour of the place and a room tour. Um, it's been incredibly enjoyable. So yeah. you should be really, really proud of what you what you built here, man. Thank this, is, you. this is super, super nice. And are, are these uh, neighborhood kids or are they? Yeah, they came from that area. From, the slum from area. G, uh, G12? Yeah, from G12. Did you call it the slum area? Yeah, it's okay. the slum area. Where like uh, Abdullah's village is yeah. over in that way? Yeah, many yeah, people live there. Okay. And these kids like go roam here around for garbage and stuff. Then they go to the, uh, you know. They bring the garbage yeah. back and then do, do, they, do they, sell they sell the garbage? It, yeah, they, they sell, sell it. it. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that that yeah, that piece you. of uh, of Islamabad life with us, man. I, yeah. I, did, I did not know that. All right, Yusuf. Nice to meet you. Brother. Nice to see you again, brother. Ciao, ciao. All right, and I think our in driver driver has arrived. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye kids. Oof. I mean, um, not a single day goes by here where I'm not like incredibly humbled um, by what I see or what I learn. You know, just, just take a minute um, to, to think about like, you know, growing up uh, in a slum and having to find garbage and having to sell it uh, to survive, you know, and they're, they're out here I'm sure because their parents are telling them to. Just really, really humbling to think about. It just reminds me of kind of how fortunate I am and was to be born um, where I was in the United States and, and to have a good family. Tough, uh, tough things to think about. Ah, my man has arrived. Assalamu alaikum. Abkanam kio hai? Shayad. Miranam Brent. Nice to meet you, Shayad. Are you having a good day? Good, good. All right, and we're on the move. I am staying in the G13 neighborhood. It's where I've been for about the last week. And now we're going to G11. Name of the place we're going to, Tazib 
bakery. Not only the, did the owner tell me about it, a few other people told me it was amazing too. So I'm super stoked. I'm really, really hungry and I'm craving something healthy. Haven't had uh, not the most prolific amount of vegetables and fruits here in, in Pakistan, as you may imagine. So hopefully we can get our, uh, our teeth around something uh, kind of nutritious. Sugar day, my friend. Be well, be well. All right, we have touched down in G11. Make sure I got everything in my shellwar kameez. Uh, yo, uh, I, I really dig it, I really dig it. It actually, uh, it was designed for the iPhone 13. It, it fits perfectly in there. I do get a little nervous that when I get in and out of cars that things are gonna fall out though, but we got everything. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum, hi. Mehbu. Mehbu? Uh, Brent, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where, where you work at Safilo. Safilo. What, what kind of food does Safilo have? Sorry? What kind of food uh, do they have at Safilo? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Good, is good food at Safilo? Yeah, yes. What, what kind of food? Oh, you got a menu there? Yes. Oh, you got juices, shakes, lassi, ooh. Fresh juice, Fresh coconut, juice, juice coconut. coconut. Can you turn it over? Pomegranate juice, ice cream. Oh, very like a sweet ice cream place. Okay, shukriya. Shukriya, maybe I'll stop there after I, after I have some food here. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Please don't beat me up in the comments. I've been trying to say up, up kanan kiohai so many times. That's what's what is your name in Urdu, and I and I keep messing it up. I, I try to think like up kanan ki coyote or something. All right, we're in Tazib. Ooh, that thing looks unreal. Strawberry icing pastry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry, Safilo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. This stuff looks too too sweet. A sweet taste of love. Chocolate Sunday cups. In. That's where I want to go. I've heard uh, this is a chain too. When I pulled it up on Google Maps, there were a few more. Three milk chocolate, focaccia bread, mm. lotus cake. Y'all, they go absolutely bananas for the lotus cake here um, in Islamabad. Almost every restaurant I've been to has had some sort of dessert that's been lotus based. Lotus chef's kiss, so, so good. Oh, wow. What are we working with here? We got the French bread, the big baguettes. We got all these different sweets. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Not now. Good, good. Wow. So many like it's cookies it's and sweets. I've never... Videos are not allowed. Please. Oh, no, no videos. Please, oh, please, no. Please, okay. Thank you. Thank is, you. Thank you. Is, is, is there a way I could get permission? No. No. No, no permission. All right. Unfortunately, I couldn't film in there. I get it. Corporate. No big deal. Whatever. The, the bakery was really cool. They were selling pizzas in there. They had an insane amount of cookies, crackers. They had hot pastries. I, I came out here to see if there was a place to sit so we could do a review and talk about the food out here, but there's nowhere to sit. So wait a second. Oh, okay. I wonder if they're going to let me sit there. Looks like there's some outdoor seating up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go inside. Let's buy some stuff. Whoa, let's not trip and kill ourselves. And I'm going to go in that area and, and chow down. Success, we got a big old bag of food. The guy who told me I couldn't film, he must have been the manager. He was following me around like a chaperone. I thought he was gonna take my hand. So walk me there. Assalamu alaikum, no thank you. No need for sunglasses. I, I got the specs on my face right now. Uh, this Marcaz, my first time the G11 Marcaz, it looks just like every other Marcaz. You'll see these like Shaheen chemists and other pharmacies. Um, but pretty much every Marcaz, like these are big, big franchises. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My boy is steaming up the corn. No outside food or drink allowed. Well, I don't, th are they open? I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat here. We're gonna ask for permission. Uh, I'm not sure if they're open. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Can I, can I eat here? Is it okay if I sit to eat? Yeah, yeah. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you, my friend. Much appreciated. Abkanam Kyo, hi. Uh, what's your name? Walid Khan. Ali Khan. Mira Nam Brent. Okay, nice to meet you, you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Is this your restaurant? Uh, this. Yes. Thank you, sir. Shukriya. Much appreciated. Thank you, my friend. All right, they want me to go uh, in the corner here so, so no one sees me. Cool with that. Uh, shukriya, my friend. I appreciate it. Dude, this is a really cool outdoor area. Check this out. Nicely well maintained. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Digging this. What is this place? Zeest? Geest? I'd definitely come here at some other time. Looks like a some kind of outdoor restaurant type of deal. Yeah, yeah, pretty solid. Let's see where a good place to post up is. Oh yeah, yeah, look right here. Got some comfy seats. 
Don't want to get my shawar kameez dirty. So I got three different food items. Total cost 846 Pakistani rupees, about $3.80 USD. Oh, I really hope they gave me a fork because I ordered a salad. Yes, they did. Tazeeb coming through. Uh, I pretty much let the manager suggest what I should get. Um, he steered me towards an almond salad to begin with, but I'm allergic to almonds and it was like really like white and creamy and I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on in this in this concoction here, but I'm a pass. Uh, like I said, wanted to get some healthy food. We've got, they definitely gave me the wrong one. <laughs> this was the one he suggested. I wanted the one behind it because it had more like beans and legumes in it, legumes. And uh, he gave me this one, a lot of corn, a lot of olives, but also we got some green peppers in there, some onions, tomatoes, and a tiny little piece of what might be chicken. Mm, oh yeah, I know this is this is gonna be real good. It's like a summertime salad right here. Pow. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Very fresh, very very tasty. It's got a nice like vinegar, um, acidity to it. A little bit sour. Solid solid salad. We'll definitely crush that again. I wish I would have found out about this place earlier. Um, because I was just like, the Pakistani food is amazing, but it's a lot of oil. A lot of oil and a lot of bread involved. So I need to, I need to uh, re-up on my vitamin intake. Okay, next up, we got something called the chicken pie. He said that this was the best thing in the hot case. Really, really uh, heavy. Way heavier than I thought it would be. Pow. Mmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside, we got the ground chicken. I think. I don't think there's cheese in there, but it's 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 mm, it's it's really really good. Wow. It reminds me of like a chicken cordon bleu um, type of thing. I want to say there's just the tiniest little bit of like onion in here as well, some spring onion. Wow. Uh, hard to describe the flavor. Super savory, really, really salty. The flies are descending on us. Um, the outside batter, mega, mega crispy. Mmm. Very fresh. Sometimes food sitting in a hot case, it gets kind of stale. This is hot, crispy, and delicious. We've got like this dough here that's like multiple layers as well. Kind of like flaky pastry dough, but it's definitely been like deep fried. Mmm. This is bomb. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. And I know I said I wanted healthy food. I realized that a giant fried piece of chicken with dough is not healthy, but the man says it's the best. Who am I? Who am I to ignore him? Okay. Next up, I want y'all to check this out. You know we had to get some desserts uh, as well. I asked him what his two favorite desserts are. He said I gotta go with the lemon roll and with the strawberry roll. These look mega, mega dank. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, lick a little bit of that greasy chicken off the spoon. Uh, what I've noticed here, hold on, let me take this off for a minute. What I've noticed here is that in Pakistan, they love giving me these sporks. Big, big supporter of the sporks. We need more sporks. Sporks would cut down on like a lot of plastic consumption, am I right? Pow. Mmm. That's a good, Really, really good sweet treat. G double O D, good sweet treat. Really creamy, lemon icing, lemon frosting. It's got the different layers in there. The actual like cake itself, mega, mega moist. This is dang, dang good. It's super sweet, and I'm not getting like the biggest like lemon um, acidity from it or citrus element to it. It's just good. Mmm. It definitely reminds me of like a Little Debbie, like cake roll snack back in the States, but definitely kicked up several notches. Man, that was really, really good. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a piece of the strawberry roll. Right away, the strawberry frosting, um, it's a lot more like dense and calcified and dry. Whereas the lemon frosting was super creamy, super moist. Uh, this is definitely like hardened, but I, I think that's by nature. I don't think it's like been left out or anything. Pow. Mm-hmm. Just as good as the lemon roll. I like the different texture switch um, with kind of that harder, um, with kind of that harder frosting. It really pairs well with the moistness of the cake. Not not a very like overwhelming 
and strawberry flavor either. Both of these just taste like really, really sweet treats. Kind of, kind of vanilla-y. Way more vanilla flavor than like a lemon or a strawberry flavor. But Cheeto Bologna good. I really, really wish I could have taken you on a, a little bit of a tour in there. I should have at least panned the camera around. That was definitely like the nicest, most like upscale, scale, cleanest um, place I've been to in Pakistan so far. The guy wasn't kidding. Yousef wasn't kidding when he said uh, it was the most hygienic place. I mean, that, that was straight out of like an, a New York deli or something. And the amount of options was crazy. First time at Tazib Bakery, definitely not the last time. Really, really impressed with the quality of the food. Uh, I guess the prices kind of seemed a little more upscale than uh, typical Pakistani food, but you pay for what you get. Like super quality food, very fresh, very healthy. Um, and, like it is a chain as well, so you're always gonna pay a few more rupees uh, going to a chain, but nicely, nicely done, Tazib. Hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Hope you all got to see uh, what a Pakistani bakery is really like. Maybe I'm gonna do a whole video where I just go buy an insane amount of pastries from the bakery, because these were really, really good, but there were so many other things I wanted to try there. There was a Lotus Sunday. they had donuts, they had just giant massive cakes all together. But we'll save that for another day. My name's Brent Tim from Islamabad, Pakistan at Tazib Bakery, and I'm saying ciao for now.